this is one of my favorite series. It's just turned into something. It was a simple idea of simming Road to WrestleMania in universe mode to see how one year went. And I think we're on year number 12 now, something like that, 11. And I appreciate all the support. Thank you. If you enjoy the videos, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe. If you are subscribed, hit the notifications button so you can always be notified when a video goes live. I have some special stuff coming this week. You probably already started. Uh, Road to WrestleMania is an SVR 2011, among some other stuff. But let's just jump right into it. Now, before we get crazy, we have the draft matches tonight. And then we're going to make some Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Brock Lesnar. Yes, please. Champion versus champion. I think so. Here we go. The interesting thing about this one is these are two guys that did nothing this entire universe mode. They were young guns. They still had to learn the business. And then they learned the business so much, they both went on to main event WrestleMania and our champions. Three, two, one, go. And we're Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, who is the top of WWE today. Stone Cold Steve Austin, one of the biggest legends in the game. He just had the Raw reunion. He's looking to make a name for himself in universe mode. As we're going to make some change-ups here uh, to the schedule, we're going to change up what we do in Road to WrestleMania in WWE 13, because obviously the last 10 episodes have been pretty crazy. We've had Cena get pushed down and eventually get a shot. We've now had these two go at it. Godfather. And when we started, I think Christian was the longest reigning Intercontinental Champion, and he hasn't done anything since. So this series has been quite a, a, a bit of fun for me, because it's something that... I used to say back in the day when I did uh, WWE Universe modes that it got very repetitive. But overall, the arching storylines that were repetitive produced some year-to-year storylines that turned out to be great. And I'm going to be honest with you, it's Stone Cold versus Brock are fighting over a draft match. The winner's show will get a draft match pick as we did SmackDown for the first time, I think, in the last episode or the episode before that. See these two guys going at it. Now, we are on quick because we really don't care too much about uh you know putting on a, a five-star banger because obviously you guys know right here if i hit this and then i hit the f5 on stone cold you know darn well he's gonna kick out so we don't want to do just that but wait who is champion on which show though i can't remember it's stone cold, stone cold's on raw i think and brock is on smackdown count it ref and he kicks out at two And you know what, Lesnar? Let's take let's take Stone Cold Steve Austin up top. Oh God, what's he looking for? A superplex or underhook? Underhooks from the top rope, and Brock Lesnar's calling for the end on Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin says, "I don't think so, kid. Crack open a cold one and let's get this some bitch rolling." Big punch to the face. It's one of those scenarios that I have to be honest with you. I don't care who wins. Usually in the draft matches every year, like the guy I pick uh, before I started doing random matches, I, I would have an idea of who I wanted to win. But in this one, I genuinely don't care. Stone Cold kicks out. Oh, let's go over the power bombs again. One. Give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. Go for the second one, and that's the bottom line. Oh, he doesn't have stackable finishers. God dang it. Forgot about that. Stone Cold Steve Austin gets buried by Brock. Brock has waited for this damn opportunity every single year. If you thought Brock was going to lose, you're a damn fool. Brock Lesnar, one, two, three. Brock Lesnar earns a draft pick because Brock Lesnar is dominant. Brock Lesnar is no longer here to play. As we can just skip all of it, because the only thing we want to know right now is who is the draft pick. As Brock Lesnar in the champion versus champion match picks up a huge W. So Brock wins, but who's the draft pick? Here we go. As we wait for it, I got to be honest with you. Last year, I think it was CM Punk, right? I don't think we can get any bigger than that, but here we go. John Cena, Stone Cold Steve Austin. So Stone Cold lost. Imagine if Stone Cold got drafted. Imagine if Stone Cold Steve Austin got drafted. Our truth. Our truth is drafted over to the show, which, okay. 
Not really, uh, you know what? Let's do this one too. Let's do one more. We're gonna put this one on quick. Like always. All right, match experience quick. Play. Except I think I know uh, who I want to be in this match. I'm pretty sure we know who we're gonna be. He's pissed. One of these guys carried the show for two years. One of these guys carried the show for a year. Both were on top. Both of them made their, their momentum felt when they got drafted to respective shows. Three, two, one, stop. 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 There we go. See, random. Wait a minute. Gangrel, you need to chill. As they're putting over the greatest WrestleMania of all time in my headphones. I don't know if I believe that. It was a good WrestleMania. But I don't know if it was the greatest WrestleMania of all time. Because it was Undertaker vs. Triple H for what? The 10th time in a row. Apparently it's a match they really want to see. It's a heartbreak kid. Shawn Michaels. Who just got super kicked on SmackDown a couple weeks ago. Last week. Whenever this actually goes up. By Dolph Ziggler. As Ziggler. Wait. what? I'm, I'm trying to tell you to suck it. You're just going to get up Gangrel. Well, you are a bloodsucker. You were one half of that uh, tag team duo. And then you... A kip up into a Gangrel special? As Gangrel no sells it. Neckbreaker. What the hell is going on right now? Gangrel is not messing around. Gangrel, I don't have time for your crap. As Gangrel gets thrown into it. Suck it, crowd. How about over here? Suck it. How about over to you, Gangrel? Suck it. Oh, did he just lose his finisher? He's throwing me out of the ring. He doesn't want me involved in this match, apparently. Gangrel is trying to suck the blood life out of me. Wait, what are you trying to do? Gangrel, what are you trying to do? Is this man trying to put me through the barricade with an oh my god moment right now? I don't know what Gangrel is doing. Gangrel is just wilding out here. Yeah, you can't kick out of that though, son. Referee count it. You want to no-sell me, brother? Gangrel was dominant, so I mean, I guess kicking out at one is... Oh, no, no, no. Gangrel, come on, I need to kip up. I need to get my shine in, man. Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid. Going up top. Big elbow drop. Come on, Shawnee. Shawn looking for the super kick on Gangrel. Gangrel, he had his run. Gangrel was supposed to come towards me. And Gangrel no-sold it. Oh my god. Hey, no, 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 Sean. Just pin him. One, two, three. So double draft matches. Shawn Michaels picks up a victory. So the question is, who gets drafted now? As we're going to go do a supplemental draft. But the question is, who is coming on over as Shawn Michaels? Shawn Michaels got a huge win beating Gangrel. So who's joining him? Here we go. Three, two, one. Who is the draft pick going to be? Randy Orton, Punk. Punk got drafted last year. Triple H. The shows are pretty evenly split. Please don't be Punk. Please don't be Dolph Ziggler. Bradshaw, this is the worst draft year in history. The tag team champions. Wait, are they the tag team champions? Oh, they lost. That's right. The Road Warriors lost. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change up our universe mode a little bit because you know what? Somebody, somebody tell me, tell me you don't read the comments. I do read the comments. Don't get me wrong. As John Cena and John Cena 04 are on there, we're going to create a new tag team. Team name, Cena's. And Cena's are uh, going to be there. The only problem was I was recording ahead of time. So we're just going to call them the agents. No, no, no. That's kind of boring. 
Let's call them the yes men because Vince McMahon, that's what they are. They don't need entrances. They don't need anything else. We can skip over all that. It's going to be John Cena and John Cena 04. We're going to have them as a tag team. So John Cena and John Cena 04. Yes, I want to add him as an ally. Accept them. And there we go. We got the Cenas as a tag team. We can go ahead and uh, delete this one. We no longer want them as a tag team. Team Cobro can go. This faction is gone. And then let's do one more. Let's do the wild cards. Let's call, let's call them the wild cards. And in the wild cards, we're going to make a faction, probably the greatest faction of all time. We're going to put in members. You know who we're going to put in there? Yeah, I bet you're never going to expect this. We're going to put in Dolph. Z no, I'm just kidding. Nobody's putting in Dolph Ziggler. Who's going to put Dolph Ziggler into a tag team? I'm going to put Dolph Ziggler in a tag team. I would put Dolph Ziggler and Randy Orton for no apparent reason. Both these guys are failing. Wait a minute. No. We're going to do CM Punk and Randy Orton. Team announce name. We're going to call them the uh, Trailblazers. Save. So we got the wild card and we got the Cena's. Now they take a look at the roster. Let's even this out a little bit. Let's add a superstar, manage superstar, add superstar. And let's go and add... Still never going to add Brodus Clay, so don't even think about it. Edge 99. Let's add Eddie Guerrero. I want Eddie Guerrero on the show. Eddie Guerrero deserves to come over to SmackDown. Who else could we add? Hunter Hearst. Well, if John Cena's got three versions of himself, I think we need Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Yeah, we do. All right, all right. Somebody from Raw. We got to change up the Raw superstars. Add superstars. Let's add... Dolph Ziggler's coming over, and so is Booker T. So we're gonna we're gonna break those guys up. We're gonna hit save. And then what we need to do is add a superstar. Because we took two from Raw. So now we gotta take two from Raw back. And I wanna take. Let's see. Ken Shamrock needs to be on the roster, first of all, because this is SmackDown. We're a damn sport. And we're also going to take the big fella, Sheamus. So let's hit. Let's go ahead and hit save on that as the roster should be a little bit more equal opportunity. And then there we go. So let's go ahead and go to our pay-per-view. So we are at Extreme Rules this year and things are going to get a little bit more spicy. John Cena is still your United States champion. Kane and Undertaker lose his road, uh, Warrior Animal and Hawk pick up the victory. Stone Cold Steve Austin beats the newly drafted R-Truth. Christian 99 wins. That's weird. Trish Stratus wins. Brock Lesnar is one, and I think that's going to make him a champ. Champ and Brock Lesnar either was or always is the tag team, the double champ champ. So Brock Lesnar is our first champ champ of the year as we go into the over limit pay-per-view. Some people have been asking, why don't you play these matches? Man, come on. You should know it's a Sim Series by now. Every year, the Godfather comes in. I'm not bullshitting you. There's the Godfather. Because Cena's are a tag team now, so we don't need them in. Hawk and Animal pick up a big victory. Chris Jericho right away steals the damn belt back. What's the point? Our truth gets a victory after losing. Trish is still your champion. Stone Cold Steve Austin beats Rikishi. So it's like Stone Cold Steve Austin and Brock are getting easy pay-per-view matches. Now, that's not to say there's anything wrong with that. As we Let's go ahead and edit the rankings. So I can spice this up a little bit. Uh, did anybody newly get drafted? Farouk is by himself. So maybe Farouk should go up. Or wait, why is Bradshaw there? Let's add him up there. John Cena can go all the way down. Maybe it's Christian's turn. Christian hasn't done anything in, in, a, in a pretty minute. So let's add Christian up there. How about Scotty Too Hotty is not going to be our number one contender. There is no damn way in hell. That we're gonna let my man get up there and be that close to the title. That just that just ain't happening. Rikishi, Scotty Tuhati, you gotta go. You had your shot with the money in the bank briefcase. All right. So then let's go look at Brock's contenders. Seamus, Ziggler. Listen, they've they've gone at it a lot. Let's let the rock go up there. Let's let 
Randall Keith Orton go up there and take Sheamus' spot. Okay, there we go. Tag team champions now. The wild cards. And the Cena's are going to shoot to the top of the rankings. And I think we're good there. All right. Let's go to the pay-per-view. We're at Capital Punishment. As let's see if they get easy matches. We're finally going to get new number one contenders who actually... Oh my God, they're going to start off the pay-per-view with a match. Rikishi loses again in a last man standing. John Cena and John Cena 04, the Cena brothers, are on top of the damn company. Jericho wins. Trish Stratus wins, okay. CM Punk wins. The Godfather loses the title to Shawn Michaels, so Godfather is always a transitional champion. And Brock Lesnar loses. He's no longer a champ champ. Randy Orton comes in and steals it all away. So going into the Money in the Bank, well, please let me get Brock Lesnar in the Money in the Bank briefcase match. We have CM Punk, Dolph Ziggler, Wade Barrett, Christian, Cactus Jack looking to become a three-time Money in the Bank winner. As Brock Lesnar loses, Cody Rhodes beats Shawn Michaels. So they're setting up that rivalry. Jinder Mahal beats R-Truth. Big Boss Man and Kevin... Kev, Ken Shamrock <laughs> lose to the Cena's so they don't face an established tag team they get a tag team that was thrown together Gangrel comes out of the woodworks and challenges for the title and loses and here we go the money in the bank ladder match in 3 2 1 CM Punk the guy that got screwed last year for the money in the bank he was going into Wrestlemania he was going to be the champion going into the damn show he gets cashed in on, and now he's the one that gets to, oh my God, reflect in all that glory as the Godfather. Because, of course, it's SummerSlam. They know the whole train's coming in. So here we go. Let's take a look at the card. Again, Brock Lesnar loses. I think he's got to be done. The Godfather gets his title back from Cody Rhodes because that's what Godfathers and the whole train does. Trish Stratus gets a victory. Ken Shamrock debuts in, uh, in a singles competition and wins. Hawk and Animal, the last time you got to see them, they get the rematch. It's SummerSlam, and they're not able to do it. Big show again. I swear, it's like the third time that match has happened. And here we go, looking to become champ champs. Not able to do it as Stone Cold Steve Austin is still your damn champion. Stone Cold. Stone Cold. All right. Godfather retains, finally. Trish is still champion. Brock lost. Seriously, I got to change up the Brock thing. The Cena's are still champion. Punk wins in the... Punk versus Jack in the former match. The Money in the Bank guy that cashed in on him. That's a good recall at Night of Champions. And last but not least, Stone Cold Steve Austin wins again in a match full of nobodies. So, did did this... Why, why does it keep overriding me? I, I don't want those guys to be in there. I had a specific plan for all of these guys, and they're screwing with it. Although, I'm fine with Wade Barrett getting a shot. Gangrel, you can get up there too, but just not yet. Randy Orton, and then, yeah, Dolph Ziggler has got to go way down. Let's put Great Khali. All right, there we go. That should spice things up a little bit. All right, so let's go back to our Hell in the Cell pay-per-view. As this year, is, uh, it's been all in Stone Cold Steve. Hunter Hearst Helmsley gets his first shot at the title, and he's not able to do it. Jericho proven dominant. Godfather looking good. Trish is still... Have we had anybody change hands as another rivalry renewed? And finally, the Cena's lose because it was a tag team false count anywhere match, and the Cena's weren't there to save each other. Christian finally gets one more match and doesn't win. And Brock Lesnar not able to do it. Randy Orton is still your champion. Wade Barrett beats Christian in a number one contender match. So at Survivor Series, the pay-per-view that he got a shot in years and years ago, Hunter Hearst Helmsley loses again. Nikki loses. Godfather beats Shawn Michaels and Daniel Bryan. That's kind of crazy to think about. Dolph Ziggler gets a shot and Randy wins. CM Punk beats Gangrel, so Mr. Money in the Bank has got three huge wins against former champions. Cactus Jack, Gangrel, like, he's literally going through a list of old opponents. 
John Cena 04 beating Christian 99, possibly setting up a rivalry there. And Stone Cold has beat Wade Barrett. So if if you're going to have a guy carry the belt, at least everybody knew he was getting an opportunity against Stone Cold. Nobody's been able to beat Stone Cold, but you know what time it is. It's TLC pay-per-view time, so anything can happen. Like Shawn Michaels winning the title. Ken Shamrock winning the title after debuting. Santina Morella. Uh, Ken Shamrock, a big boss man, trying to become champ champs. That's not happening. Karma wins. So all year, we don't do anything with the title. Four new champions. Five new champions. TLC is the reset pay-per-view. Dolph Ziggler won. Wade Barrett won. Karma won. Tag team champions retained. Ken Shamrock won. So the face of WrestleMania, as this is the road to WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania has officially begun because we are at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. And we officially have five new champions. But Ken Shamrock loses it to as close as he's able to get. He's not able to hold on. Hawk and Animal win again. Beth Phoenix wins. Shawn Michaels wins. Dolph Ziggler beats Brock Lesnar. So is this Brock Lesnar's year to get screwed as Dolph Ziggler won? Wade Barrett has still... Oh my God. Wade Barrett could be going into WrestleMania. The WWE Champion. And here we go. The WWE Royal Rumble in three, two, one. The Undertaker getting another shot. How many times has this man won the Royal Rumble? I'm I'm genuinely confused at how many times he's won. I think it's been like three times he's won the Rumble. So here we go. Shawn Michaels beats Godfather. Ken Shamrock beats Chris Jericho. Karma wins. Big Boss Man and Ken Shamrock win. So Ken Shamrock is a champ champ. And here we go. Time for the two elimination chamber paper. Oh my God. Look how stacked these are. Wade Barrett is going into WrestleMania as champion. Wade Barrett has never gone into WrestleMania as champion. And Dolph Ziggler is going in as champion. So two possible former foes for The Undertaker. Dolph Ziggler and Wade Barrett are going to get a face. The Undertaker one way or another. I'm going to be honest with you. As I look at SmackDown, I'm a little shocked here. I mean, this is one of those those, uh, scenarios. Would you like to watch the Royal Rumble winner match? No, I don't want to watch the Royal Rumble match. I don't need to see that. But I I do want to sim it. Because that's going to tell us who he faces. Wade Barrett. Wow. So Wade Barrett wins. That's huge. Because, uh, first of all, absolutely goddamn not. Uh, Absolutely not. There's no way in hell Rikishi is challenging for my title at the pay-per-view. That just cannot happen. Not a damn chance in hell. No way, sir. All right, so if one of those guys aren't the tag team champions going into it, I'm going to be very, very upset. As you take a look at our statistics, Ziggler is like a seven-time champion, which is so crazy to think about. Um, Yeah, I don't even know at this point. I'm just a little shocked because as we go to the next Raw, one of the things we want to keep in mind here is Undertaker. He's going to get the match. And JPL, JBL is your number one contender. So I knew we'd have a number one contenders match at some point, And I needed to make sure we could actually see it. So that'll pretty much bring us now to WrestleMania as they're not even going to let Wade Barrett fight. This is crazy. Wade Barrett's not even getting a match. And a number one contenders match is Rikishi wins. No. 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 Not a damn chance in hell. As CM Punk is doing what he had done to him. And he's looking to take Wade Barrett's opportunity away. Wade Barrett has worked all year for this. He is going into WrestleMania as champion in just a little over a week away. CM Punk is cashing in his money in the bank contract. 
Here we go. And we're going to play it on random. I will win with whoever, super, whatever superstar I pick. Who are we? All right, so we're CM Punk. We're going to be Punk. Big running high knee. Bulldog. He's calling for the knee. It's time to go to sleep, big dog. Step up, Enziguri. I'm waiting for it. Turn around. Punk. Punk, where are you going? Wait, Punk. Disqualifications are in effect. CM Punk. I think he was still pissed and upset. He forgot this was a no DQ, uh, not an ODQ match. As Wade Barrett's been busted open. Wade Barrett is busted wide open. Is he going to be the champion? He's wanted this match for so long. A multi-time champion. Wade Barrett never fully got the opportunity. He's challenged for the title before, but he could never get the job done. From the top rope... Punk going up. Punk looking for the Macho Man elbow. Now he's calling for the go to sleep. He's got him up top. CM Punk. Go to sleep on Wade Barrett. Go to sleep. Down Wade Barrett goes. He's busted wide open. Count the pin, referee. One. Two. Referee, what the hell? Punk can't believe it. Wade Barrett has worked so long for this. Wade Barrett doesn't want to lose. Wade Barrett, literally. Now remember, Punk has has stopped to cash in before. Daniel Bryan tried to cash in on CM Punk, and Daniel Bryan successfully uh, lost that cash in. Successfully. Punk successfully defended that cash in. So this could be Punk's coup de gras. He gets cashed in on. He stops it from cashing in on. Now he's cashing in, and he could potentially lose. That would be a huge upset if he was to fall short, as he's just losing it right now. He's just stomping away on Wade Barrett. Look at all the blood of Wade Barrett. CM Punk going to throw him into the ropes. Vintage CM Punk. Get up, Wade. Big running high knee. Now Punk's calling for the end. There it is. CM Punk. Go to sleep on Wade Barrett. New champion. Going into WrestleMania. Count it, ref. One, two, three. CM Punk is your new WWE champion. So CM Punk could be getting his first ever main event in history. Punk has always wanted the main event in WWE. He's always wanted to be the top key, the top marquee guy. He finally cashes in. He pins Wade Barrett on Monday Night Raw. And now going into WrestleMania, he's going to be defending. Now remember, Rikishi was the number one contender. For the love of God, I do not want to face Rikishi as Punk has done it. That re representing the Trailblazers as Randy Orton. So it could have been, if I'm being honest with you, as you take a look at our rankings, it could have been Randy Orton. So, I mean, hey, it is what it is. But let's move on to the last SmackDown. You take a look. Is there anything good there? No, there's nothing good there. We want to go to the schedule. And we are at WrestleMania. So here we go. Finally, in his first ever main event against Rikishi. No, I, I, I don't want to change his opponent. We're going to let it be Rikishi. 
So Shawn Michaels wins. The Cena's lose at WrestleMania. So the tag team everybody wanted. Yes, they held the tag team's titles when it mattered. They were champions throughout the year. But at WrestleMania's, the place they're most known for, the corporation beats the Cena's. So the corporation and, and Vince McMahon and the entire family was on their side in the beginning. But here they caved on him. Hunico and Zack Ryder pick up a random victory. Look at this random ass elimination six man tag as this one makes no sense whatsoever. The Undertaker beats Great Kali, and here we go. The Undertaker as the Royal Rumble winner has won at WrestleMania. He has beat Dolph Ziggler. So Ziggler and Punk who have gotten screwed the past couple years both go into the show as champion. And one defends and one loses. So CM Punk with a huge win. So tonight it's going to be CM Punk versus the Undertaker. And again, champion versus champion. A draft pick is on the line and we are going to play this one. This was a match that, you know, listen, it happened at WrestleMania. It did not go CM Punk's way. Ever since then, Taker has been dominant. He's had like, what, three matches a year at WrestleMania. We only count one for the streak. Here we go. We're going to pick random. It doesn't matter who it lands on. Stop. Oh, we're the Undertaker. So Punk has been drafted twice. Undertaker looking for vintage Undertaker. And instead, he counters vintage CM Punk. Oh, God. What is CM Punk looking for? Oh, the octopus roll in the corner? Trying to choke us up, but yet you can't win via that because you're in the ropes, Punk. Punk! Not able to get the Undertaker off his feet, but that time he was. Big leg drop. As the new champion versus the defending... Oh, God. CM Punk is not wasting any time. Yeah, I don't think so, Punk. Get up. I'm going to choke slam you to hell. I'm going to do it again. Running into the corner. Go up top, Undertaker. Oh, he misses. CM Punk got out of the way. CM Punk got out of the way, and CM Punk's looking to take control. The dead man. He's going up top again. Big elbow drop from the corner. Is that enough? One. And no, he kicks out at one. Oh my god, the last ride. The last ride. CM Punk is up for the last ride, and that's got to be enough. One. Punk kicked out at one. CM Punk with a no sell of the century. Undertaker's calling for the end. Oh my God, look at CM Punk. He's been cut wide open. He's going for it again. Looking for a second last ride. Last ride. Oh my God, he's looking for the... Wait, what? CM Punk. Vintage CM Punk. Punk hit a comeback. Watch out. Undertaker. Running high knee from CM Punk. Running high knee. Undertaker's got to watch out. Go for the pin. One. And no, Taker kicks out. This is the closest match we've had. CM Punk looking for the finish. CM Punk's got him up top. CM Punk looking to make Undertaker go to sleep. Go to sleep on the Undertaker. CM Punk hits the Undertaker with a go to sleep. And no, Undertaker kicks out. And Undertaker. Undertaker no sells it. Pops up. 
Referee, count it. One, two, three, and The Undertaker has beat CM Punk on the Raw after as he hit a go to sleep, but it wasn't enough to put him away. So vintage CM Punk couldn't get the job done. The Undertaker sending a message to Raw. Now the question is, who gets drafted to SmackDown? Punk is the Raw champion. So who is getting drafted to end the episode, guys? As here we go. Who is going to get drafted? You have the corporation. You have Cena. You have Stone Cold Steve Austin. You have Farouk or Bradshaw. Wade Barrett gets drafted over to SmackDown. So Wade Barrett, come on down, guys. One heck of a year in universe mode again. Is Wade Barrett going to be able to do it over on SmackDown? We're going to have to wait and find out. All right, so I forgot the camera died. So Wade Barrett is the pick. That one went on way longer than I thought it was going to. Wade Barrett got drafted, and that's where we're going to wrap it up. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to smash that like button, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. You can tweet me at WEMU, but until next time, Wade Barrett, what can you do next year? We will see you all later. Prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins are sober. My run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Cause check out prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins are sober. My run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like